Say all right, so first and foremost, I want to give all praises and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahushai, Ba'ashem, Rekakadash. We say double and support us, and 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 we say double now, if if you search if you search up this headline on Google, you basically um find a whole bunch of links, a whole set, a whole set of um different news pages or news sites that have the same information, right? So it's a hate speech, hate hate preachers to be blocked from entering the UK in fresh crackdown extreme extremism, right? Um, it's a ministers already already have powers to block people who are non conducive. To the public good and believe they can be extended to include individuals preaching racism and, and incitement now when it comes to this you to understand something when i say it uh, hates hate speech remember the things that we we be speaking about the things that we be talking about they consider it as 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 they deem it as to be hate speech you understand they deem it to be something extreme you know something something wrong right when when all we do is speaking out of the bible right so literally what they want to do is ban the words of the lord right now with this happening here there are many other countries around the world like for example i believe canada they also going to pass a particular law against the certain against certain things they could say against hate speech against uh, against particular stuff especially online and so forth i believe that some other places are, are doing a crackdown on it as well so when it comes to the word when it comes to the word that we preach, they already deem it to be hate. So you know they would also be cracking down on us. Now again, we we in those times where these things would be happening to to happening more frequently, happening on a more great extent and so forth, right? Because again, they they know what they want to do. They know why they want to stop these things. Literally, what they, they, hey, they they just don't want a body expose them or, or speak the truth. They, they want everybody to comply to the things that that they be doing. Or comply with the things that they want them to say, not to go against them. Now, with that, let me just bring this script. Let me just bring this um precept here. This is the book of Jeremiah, chapter twenty-eight, verse eight. It says, "The prophets that have been before me and before thee of old prophesied both against many countries and against great kingdoms of war and of evil and of pestilence." So it says, "The prophets that have been before me and before thee of old prophesied both against many countries and against great kingdoms." Of war and of evil and of pestilence right so the prophets is known to do us speak out against certain things right now they would deem that as they would deem that as what hate speech because they're literally speaking out against them you understand and it's and he is speaking out against a, a particular people that's known to do what to be wicked known to be the wicked known to be doing all sort of evil and, and so on it's the same way the, you, you see they want to ban stuff like um I believe it's TikTok. They they have a bill <clears throat> to ban it, right? And the, and one of the reasons why someone was saying one of the reasons why they want to ban it is because it has so much of um people exposing the things that that Esau is doing around the world. You understand? They don't want it to reach no more. So you see the kind of crackdown is is basic. What they want to do is basically a crackdown on the truth, right? They just want people to consume. To consume you know um to consume the information that they are putting out or, or, or to consume the content they are putting out which is to keep these people in a stupid mindset to keep them in a foolish man a foolish mindset right it's a reason why i believe it's um right i believe i said this in a previous video where um literacy and 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 someone thinking for themselves has been on a on a decrease on a on a high decrease to the fact where i believe like schools are forced schools are um are forced passing children because they can't keep them down a standard no more right so they literally have to force these children to pass that is to show you how the kind of content or the kind of things people are consuming outside there even it goes for the kids for the parents and and for the elders and so forth right and with these things being passed, they would deem they would deem people speaking out against them as hate speech. 
That way it say ministers already have powers to block people who are non-conducive, right? So let me just look up the word. Look up the word non-conducive. Let me look up the word conducive first. Con it's a conducive meaning. It's a making a certain situation or outcome likely or possible. Right? Um, it's a providing the right conditions for something good to happen or exist. So that is what conducive is. Right? Um, so I got better meaning. So it's a, um, another word for conducive as well, favorable, helpful, beneficial. So it's a non-conducive and not helpful, but it's just basically non It's a non-conducive, it's a not capable of, of conducting, right? Um so it's, it's, it's just ministers have already have powers to block people who are non-conducive to, to the public good who are not capable just basically people who wouldn't comply right to the way that they want things to be or comply to the things that they wanted to see or the things that they wanted to believe in right because again they, uh, they would de they, they already deem the things that in the bible as hate speech you can go and look up those information, go and look it up. So, you, uh, and again, what we we be using the Bible as our main source, right? The Bible, as a matter of fact, is our main source to, to the things that we be saying, right? And they deem it as what? Hate speech. But remember, as the scriptures say, the prophets of old prophesied both against many countries and against great kingdoms of war and of evil and of pestilence. And they would deem that as hate speech. So going on a little bit into the article, it says hate, hate preachers are to be banned from entering the UK. It is understood that officials will identify the most dangerous extremists from countries including Afghanistan, Pakistan and Indonesia and add them to the warning list. Anyone on that list will be refused entry. Right? And that's just, that just the beginning because you already know what it is they want to do. Um, I believe it's some years ago, you saw the information where... Um, where they, they didn't want people preaching on the streets and it's soon to become just like that as well right um let me jump to our next scripture here Is it my minute here? I'm gonna find a scripture. So this is the book of Psalms, chapter 139, verse 21. It says, Do not I hate them, O Lord, that hate thee? And am I not grieved with those that rise up against thee? I hate them with perfect hatred, I count them my enemies. So this is say. Just to say, you're supposed to hate, right? Now, how they deem it to be, because we're supposed to hate the evil, right, and love the good. But things like, when, when they're implementing things like this, bringing in things, hate preachers and so forth, anything that, that you say that would go against what it is, they be, they, they be putting out, or they, or they want people to follow, would be considered hate. You'll be considered a hate preacher. So if we come on these scriptures, you know, we, we may be speaking out against what? The alphabetical community 
right the alphabet community right and now with these laws and these things passing that will be considered a hate you'll be considered a, a hate preacher and you'll be what you'll be blocked right and and again it, it, it obviously it's going to get more um more harsh to see individuals to be wouldn't be able to come in they might want to throw you in prison you know lock you up right for the things they might be saying they might tell you hey you know what we'll be on the streets some more and we know we are coming into those times right with, with the way how things go and the way how things happen and you don't know something going to happen you know just today i woke up and i was reading some some news right just reading some news and it's every single person on the common board saying something is coming you know something going on happen things not right so you know what it is they're trying to do they're trying to have like full control so i'm gonna jump to one more scripture here <clears throat> this is amos chapter 8 and i'm gonna read from verse 11 it said behold the days come to the lord god that i will send a famine in the land not a famine of bread no, it is of water, but of hearing the words of the Lord. Right? So that is the famine that, that, that coming. Because with these things passing, the A, when you're on the, when, <laughs> imagine you're on the streets speaking out against certain things, and this is a law. <laughs> they, they, obviously, they would stop it if this, these laws get passed, which should go in and get passed. Right? So he said, Behold, the days come to the Lord God that I will send a famine in the land, not a famine of bread, nor a taste of water, but of hearing the words of the Lord. But of this, this hearing these words, they literally would do what? They, they <laughs> but of hearing the words of the Lord, literally a famine of the word. That's literally a famine of the word. The scarcity of hearing the words of the Lord. That's a frightening thing. Right? But that is the time that is the, the, the time I'll be coming into. Because you remember, this place is against the Lord. Everything they do, everything that they are agreeing, everything that they brought they bring forth, is always to be against the Lord. And you being for the Lord, you will be against them. Right? It's a um they say, and they shall wander from sea to sea, and from and from the north even to the east. They shall run to and fro to seek the word of the Lord, and shall not find it. So this will show you how important it is that 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 the word of the Lord is, is that in that time of the famine, there were people that, that would be that they wouldn't care. They going they would be they would be going all over trying to hear the words of the Lord. Right? They want to hear the truth. They want to hear that word. But it say and shall not find it, and they would not find it because hey, we're coming into those times. Where you see, you see that movies, that movies show you how important it is to hear the word of the Lord. And with these kind of things being passed, these kind of things being done, hey, you don't know where it is going to take place. <clears throat> hey, so with that, we give all praises and glory too. Yahweh, Bashem, Yoshai, Bashem, Kakodash. We said about the apostles and elders agreements on the rule of teachers, our apostles in the truth. And we say salutation, so the Akamas are pushing you wooden or truth and sincerity, day in and day out, and constantly in season or the season we say, Shalom.